you want to get breakfast or you want to sit there or what? Get breakfast. Is there a lot of it? We have been really looking out with the campsites. This is the spot for the tent. Right here? We could put it right there too. That would be kind of cooler. I, I think, think between these trees would be awesome. If we can get the stakes on the ground, that would be cooler. Good, how are you doing? That's great. Good. It'll be $10. Anything less than a 20? I have a five. You have a five? Yeah. Do we get a discount for that or something? No. It's good for three days. Visitor oh, yeah. center two miles up, dead horse went into the road. Alright, thank you. This is like the Grand Canyon. I'm getting some serious vertigo right now. That's a long way down. I mean, it's obviously like a little bit more impressive. Yeah, like, but it's like 20, but I can get the same feeling looking out. Like, yeah. So the plants that live here have to adapt um, to find ways to survive. The single leaf ash tree, it has the biggest leaves of the plants around the desert here. That's dead horse point. See, there's a little car on that road down there. Like right over the river. Yep. Little black dot. <laughs> Looks like an ant on an ant hill. Entrance fee or show pass at visitor center. That's because it's a very delicate site that has been impacted by a lot of, um, we'll say, less than careful visitors over the years. Right. So by not publishing information about it, we kind of force people to talk to us so we can have right. this conversation before yeah. you head down there. I can see that. Um, so because it's not marked on our trail map, so Falls Kiva is located right about here. And you're going to park at this trailhead right here. It's the trailhead for Alcove Spring Trail. You're going to walk back along the road for about 200 meters. It's a mile and a half to get to Falls Kiva. Your kind of main frame of reference when you're on that trail is this butte. It is in the background. You almost feel like you've gone too far or too far low. Uh -huh. But that's, that's intentional. The trail takes you down below that level. You traverse across it underneath and then you do a hairpin turn and climb up to it from the far side. Kind of photos over the years of how that site has been uh, what is, like, impacted. What is false Kiva? Kiva is an ancestral Puebloan ceremonial structure. Are you off the desk or are you still able to do a senior class? You can do a senior class. Cool. Um, well, wait a minute. Let, let, he wants me to do it. it. Okay. This is a false kiva because it is simply built by a ring of rocks above ground. It's no longer a particularly valuable site for archaeological archaeological research because it's been so impacted by visitors. Mm. But um, so, yeah, kind of surprised that he just like told you the directions like that. Yeah. Right now we are taking a three-mile hike to find this place called False Kiva. We heard it from one of our friends that we should check it out. So you saw like spiritual rituals there and stuff. Okay. I'm
almost there. Whoa. So this is the picture that you got. Yeah. How's it going? Not too far away, Cincinnati. Really? Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. Go to school there? Yeah. Yeah, we're both seniors at WVU. Uh-huh. Yep. Your old coach uh, Huggins doing. Hey, you good. <laughs> you guys been here before? No, we haven't. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel that energy, Drew? Yeah. Just like in your it's just taking me over. Check to see if I stop this correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that, did you? No. I was here. <laughs> I like your shoes and your backpack. We're matching. Yeah. This is Misa Arch. All right, we are actually back in Moab now. There was no place to get food for miles and miles around uh, where we were. So we had to come back here to get some dinner. And my camera is about to die. I'm on my last battery pack. So hopefully I can get them charged up here for the rest of the trip. Uh, Drew, any closing thoughts? Uh, we thought we were leaving Moab. Such a cool town that we're just making excuses for going back. Alright, we can go ahead and end this uh, video here.